Here we are sitting outside a Tim Hortons in Coldale, Alberta, getting set to start day two of our Alberta Ghost Town Tour. Let's get at it. We are all set for day two. First stop here is Turin, Alberta, not the place that had the Olympics in 2006. It's quite chilly this morning. It's uh, like single degree temperatures Celsius and the smoke from forest fires down in uh, Washington State and Oregon has blown in and you can really see it's causing that sun to have a very red appearance. At least that's how it is in person. I don't know how it's gonna translate into film here. And this is quite an interesting building here, Quonset style, with this chimney on the left side. I assume it was probably an old machine shop at one point. Either way, it's a great style, very unique. Well, I say unique, but I mean, you see lots of Quonset style buildings, but I've never seen one with a chimney to the left, like this one. There's occupied residences here in town. It's not a complete 100% ghost town. I always wonder what goes through the minds of these people when a group of people like us land in the middle of town, jump out of our vehicles, start taking pictures, then jump back in our vehicles and take off to another place. They must really wonder what the hell is going on. And I love the angles on this building here. The door offset at an angle, that little indentation. Uh, looks like this used to be a much bigger window at one point that's been renovated down. Love to see some pictures of that building uh, in its earlier format or style. Made out of brick, so it should be here for a while. This one here's got the fake brick siding that was very popular back in the uh, in the day. Classic false front, the old signpost still hanging there. It's a great building. Oh, just hiding from the wind here at the ghost town of Retlaw, Alberta. Now you'll remember we filmed an entire video here not that long ago, just over the summer. So I'm not going to shoot a ton of video here, but I do want to try and put the drone up in the air and see if I can get some aerial photos of the old Retlaw Church. Now this could prove to be a problem. You'll remember from the Alsask video, I was having gimbal errors with the drone and couldn't get it to, uh, uh, sorry, calibrate or set up the gimbal properly. I have continued to have those problems, however, I'm going to throw the drone up anyway and just use it for still photos because I'm sure the video will not work at all. Uh, it's really unfortunate, I'm not very happy with DJI. Uh, Dronocan is not that old, I mean it's an original Mavic Pro, but it's not, you know, it's not five or seven years old. Uh, it really should have lasted longer than it has, I mean. I have always been very careful to put the gimbal clamp in place whenever it's been transported. I've never had any sort of serious crash with it. So the fact that it doesn't work and has just randomly failed after it was, you know, working fine one time, the next time I pull it out of the bag, the gimbal motor's broken, really not good. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So I should also use this as an opportunity to introduce Mabel the dog. So you'll remember, unfortunately, back in August, we had to say goodbye to Tucker, and uh, that was a very sad occasion. But uh, we just discovered we couldn't go without a dog for very long, so we went to our local Humane Society and we adopted Mabel. Mabel is a three-year-old boxer mix and she is proven herself already in the three or four weeks we've had her to be ready to go uh full-on adventure dog loves hiking loves car rides has really fit in well with the family so this is mabel's big official youtube debut so leave a comment tell mabel that you uh are glad to see her right girl right mabel yeah okay she's camera shy 
So I suspect most of the group is down at the Retlaw Church. Let's just take a quick drive down there and, uh, and catch up with them. Uh, the church really is the highlight of Retlaw. I mean, there are a few different abandoned buildings here in town, which we kind of showed you a bit before on our previous video. But the Retlaw Church and its resurrection is absolutely the story of Retlaw as a ghost town. So let's go check that out. It's a haunted church. Hello. had to go and check the old guest book and there was our visit July the 4th we were here as you can tell there have been a ton of visitors to the church since then so for a ghost town uh, I'm not sure but for a ghost town there's a lot of people who come through here Welcome to the enchanting community of Enchant. So when I worked here for the Alberta Wheat Pool back in 1994, this was a very popular restaurant for us to uh, stop in and eat at. I'm sure it's changed ownership a few times since then, but uh, it was very enjoyable and, like I said, ate there a lot of times back in the day. Next up, we're here at the Enchant Museum. Of course, it's closed because of the whole COVID thing, so we won't be able to go inside, but it is the town's former train station, which makes it worth a stop regardless. It's really too bad the museum isn't open because there's probably more here than you would think at first glance like there's a number of old buildings along here a couple old houses maybe they're actually supposed to be like uh, chicken coops or something of that nature like I said it's really nicely done cat houses perhaps definitely going on the we must come back here one day list. Welcome to Lomond, Alberta, home of Bobby the Badger. You know we love this stuff, so we had to stop in and say hi. Uh-huh. I really do 
love the small town post office. I really think they don't get enough attention as being really great buildings in these small towns. Find a spot out of the wind, not really successful, but there's a train station here on the outskirts of town. Apparently, according to a couple members of the group from Unity, Saskatchewan. Not sure what it's doing here in Lomond, but uh, clearly was moved here not that long ago. So maybe it's looking for a new home here. Uh, not sure, but pretty interesting to see a train station where there wasn't one before. Okay, so this answers my question about the uh, restaurant. You can see from the date on the specials board, it is still in operation. It just doesn't open until uh, dinner time tonight at 4 o'clock. The library here in Lomond is an interesting building. It's obviously been renovated and maintained, but I have a feeling that that's probably a building that if you were to look into the history of it, it has, uh, I have suspect, a pretty long and interesting history. And I'll bet you there's some great photos of it from uh, pre-renovation days. Having left Loman behind, we are on our way across the Bald Prairie to a place we visited before here a couple years back, the Majorville Medicine Wheel. Well, I'm glad we didn't have to worry about any planes out here when we were here uh, a couple years back and had the drone up in the air, so... But that was cool, something different, a little plane visible up in the sky. Whoa, okay, bumpy road, pay attention. Looks like honest guys, Chris and Connie's car can make this, I know it. We are convinced Chris and Connie can get that Chevy Cruze pretty much anywhere. I see a little spinning of the wheels right now in the gravel, but he's going to make it. That guy can get a vehicle absolutely any place. Nicely done. Up here at the top, that is the central cairn from which all the other spokes radiate out from. Uh, we've done Majorville Medicine Wheel before, as I mentioned, so it might be worth checking out the video we did where we got some aerial photos of it. It gives you a good overview of what it looks like. Oh, thanks, Maple. Lunch stop. Sure. So, with lunch behind us, it's time to move on to our final stop of our tour, and this is Scandia, Alberta, and the EID, Eastern Irrigation District, Historical Park. Yes, we have visited this place before, and so there is a more detailed video that we have on the channel here from when the museum was open, so it's closed right now. We're not going to get to go inside any of the buildings or anything, but it's still great to have a chance to just walk around and check out uh, some things from the outside. Yeah. 
I always have to come and check out this fire truck and I'm not saying I'm the reason why this sign says please stay off the exhibits, but I'm probably the reason why this sign exists that says stay off the exhibits. Oh yeah, that's the stuff right there. I assume that's some sort of mid-50s Chev. Kind of the era of fire truck I think that is my favorite. Got to get a shot from inside. There's, uh, can't imagine back in the day riding the tailboard on your way to a call, you know, just hanging on. Saskatoon Fire Engine Company. Looks like it's in really decent shape, actually, but I'd love to have something like this and have it restored and into working condition. Make a great parade vehicle, and I'd probably use it for commuting to work as well. I'm just going to put the word out right now to the people of the Eastern Irrigation District Museum here in Scandia. If you ever decide you want to sell this fire truck, you call me first, okay? Because... I would uh, make something happen somehow, even if it means going into debt for the rest of my life. I love this truck. This is the old Rolling Hills Ferry. We're not going to get to Rolling Hills on this trip, but uh, I think it's been replaced by a bridge now. But It's amazing that the old one is still uh, existing and that it's here where we can visit it time we were here, you'll remember if you've watched our video from our previous visit, we were able to go inside the elevator. Unfortunately, not up to the top, but they did let us go in the uh, driveway, so that's about as much as you can ever hope for these days. And not part of the museum, but just across the road, an old service station or garage by the looks of it, still standing. Uh looking strong and well maintained well that is going to do it for the 2020 version of the ghost town tour we had a great time revisiting a lot of places we have been before and hanging out with these crazy people and thank you very much for watching